Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Cypher today. We have no intro today in today's video because we got a lot to dive into. Um, today was the premiere of the multiplayer review and everything in the trailer that came out and everything. First, I'm going to show you guys the trailer. Can't play it, though, with the with the sound because it has copyrighted music. And the song is Enter Sandman by Metallica. If you guys are wondering, it's a good song. I have it. It's one of my top 10 favorite Metallica songs of all time. So I chose this song, and then after that, I'm going to show you guys the actual gameplay from the premiere live stream that I got to watch two hours and 40 minutes about. Um, I didn't get to watch the first bit because um, I was busy showering and eating lunch and stuff like that, so I didn't have time to watch even if I wanted to. Because I don't believe using cell phones, you know, when you're eating around, you know, like, at, you know, with family or whatever, I don't believe in using cell phones. Um, that's probably not your average teenager saying that, but I just do that out of respect because I believe, you know, family, kind of, you know, eating time should be for conversations and respecting one another and their personal values and stuff like that. But anyway, so we have a lot to dive into, and I just want to say right off the bat, it looks good. But I'm saying that with a caution, that's because, you know, the premiere that we saw, it looks, you know, it looks fine and dandy then, but, you know, I'm just kind of sad that they used cringy people to play the game. You know what I mean? Like, they use Courage and all these guys that are just way too cringy, you know? Like, every time Courage got a kill, you know, he was like getting out of his chair screaming and shouting and everything you know which is you know kind of cool you know if you're losing or if you're getting your ass kicked i can see you know kind of like sh you know shit or whatever you know but he's like every single time he's jumping out of his chair taking his shirt off and everything you know not literally but you know what i mean he's just way overreacting for his nine-year-old audience because he thinks nine-year-olds are going to be able to play this game because i would definitely not let a nine-year-old play this game for the campaign anyway i'll let him play you know the multiplayer because it's the same multiplayer every year just a little bit of blood, gore, and violence, and language, you know, whatever. You know, um, kids nowadays have been grown up to used to that. Um, but um, besides that, it actually looks good. Um, I liked um, watching Shroud whenever they showed Shroud or T-Pin because I kind of respect those guys more because, you know, they don't overreact every single time they get a kill. They just play the game for fun and stream, you know, and that's what they do. And I kind of respect that. But, you know, like Shroud said, you know, that, you know, when he was, you know, interviewed that this game is, feels different. You know, it feels a little bit more tactical than we've had in the past. You know, even with the specialist kind of operator thing we have in Black Ops 4, he says it's a definitely a lot more tactical, you know, between your classes and everything. And I'm, I'm super excited because I've never seen this amount of customization for your weapons since I would say, like, the last one that we've actually had a lot of customizable options for your guns was Black Ops 2. That was the last game that we had where there was a lot of attachments. I mean, all the other Call of Duties, they've just had, you know, your basic attachments and your basic three sights and your basic, you know, grip and laser sight. But Black Ops 2 had like four or five different sights, you know, had a hybrid, ACOG, reflex, hollow, um, infrared, the MMS, and, uh, you know, and all these other, and um, zoom, and it also had... You know, stock, you know, select fire, quick draw, foregrip, rapid fire, um, long barrel, suppressor, fast mags, extended mags, you know, all these crazy attachments. And this is the first that we've had in a long time of Call of Duty that's actually had this massive amount of attachments. And it's kind of similar to Battlefield 4. You know, where there's different types of grips that have different types of abilities. So, for example, Battlefield 4, if you wanted the, you know, the regular foregrip, um, you get more recoil, you know, decreased. But in that term is that your um, ability to aim in is slow, and also um, you're not as accurate hip firing. You know, but if you pick the angle grip, you get an advantage of decreased hip fire and um, a little bit less recoil as well. But your um, aim speed is, and pickup speed from running is slowed. You see what I'm saying here? And Call of Duty, they have the same aspects. If they have it with barrels grips, stocks, sights, and lasers, and all these cool things, and it makes it really realistic, and I'm happy because we even haven't had this in any game other than, like, Tom Clancy games in all reality, and even then, it's only been in a few Ghost Recons. Um, we haven't had it in Wildlands, I know that. I mean, there was a little bit of it in Wildlands and in The Division, but I'm not, you know, it's just kind of normal, laid-back Tom Clancy. This is, like, Tom Clancy normal for, you know, for any other Tom Clancy game, you know, but... I'm excited because I kind of like that attachment variety. You know, I'm excited to see what kind of stocks and grips I can throw on my guns and see how those will work and you know with different game styles. Because I'm your more running gunner, but I also like to be 
you know, in between, you know, I don't like to be in your face point blank all the time, but I don't like to be way far away running gun. I like to be in medium range areas, so I like to use assault rifles, so I'll be definitely using the M4A1 and the M13 um, assault rifles, because those look like my favorites. Um, I always like the M4A1, it's my favorite gun in real life, um, because it's actually in real life the most well-rounded weapon in real life, if you ever wanted to know that, in both price and how much it used to cost, its effectiveness on the battlefield, and you know, strip it and everything else is pretty easy to maintain compared to any other weapon. Um, and also has the most variety of attachments as any other weapon. Um, but, you know, I will admit that I'm just saying that I'm going to play the beta. I am buying the game for sure, you know, just because I want to play the campaign. I really love Call of Duty campaigns, and I'm saying that because they're not too long and they're not trash. You know, Battlefield campaigns, they haven't been good since Battlefield Company 2. You know, Battlefield 3's was alright. Um, in the sense, but I just don't think it had enough character development between the characters. Its length and how long the missions were were fine. You know, they weren't, you know, three hour long missions like they were in Battlefield 4. Um, but, you know, they were good and they were fun and kind of more fast paced campaign. Battlefield 4 was your more laid back, a lot of character development, but the missions were an hour long, every single mission. and. No person really likes to play an hour-long campaign mission in the same general area. It kind of sucks because it feels like you're having no involvement. But if it's, you know, a loading screen thrown in there every now and then, it feels, you know, a little bit more balanced because, you know, you're not feeling like you're playing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. And also, it was only like, what, six missions? Pretty mediocre. It was like, what, four, three hours, if that, at best, if you weren't playing it on, like, hardcore. You know, on easy mode, I mean, you could run past most of the enemies, to be completely honest, I, I did that before. Just to unlock the weapons and crap, you know, to beat the campaign. But, other than that, it's, it's easy, it's easy mode. But, you know, I digress, and I'm also kind of really excited to play the co-op mode. But I'm also really excited to play the 20v20. Holy crap, I've never seen that many people in a single map in Call of Duty, and the map looks amazing. I mean, you get to... It's pretty much um, like War from um, um, World at War, the game mode War from World at War, just on a whole other scale because there is five flags, but it's kind of like a bigger version of Domination. It's like if you take Conquest from Battlefield 4 and took out the vehicles and made the map a, a little bit smaller, this is what you'd get basically. And, and pretty much, it's summing it up in a small little thing. but. Um, of course, you know, we're not going to have any access to vehicles other than a couple of kill streaks and an ATV on the map. Um, but from what we've seen, oh my gosh, it actually looks fun because, like, they were saying in the table that you could be playing one game on one side of the map, you know, your long range engagements, or you can be on another side of the map and completely just owning face, you know, point blank running and gunning. And, you know, it's going to be pretty funny, you know, when you launch these kill streaks and you're telling your teammate, okay, we got 10 enemies at B and we got three flanking and we got six over here and, you know, it's going to be pretty chaotic. You know, we've never had that much communication in Call of Duty before. And, you know, it seems pretty fun. And also, the kill streaks actually showed a lot of the kill streaks. And, damn, they actually look good. And from what we've seen a lot, they're actually pretty easy to obtain within the recent past Call of Duty. You know, they're not, like, super easy, you know, like we've had in the past. But if you're your average good player, you know, you're not, like, sweating, you know, dripping in sweat, you know, scuff controllers all day long like these guys. You're gonna be able to get them as an average player, it looks like. And they look fun. I mean, they have a lot of interesting ones, and also they change it up. You know, where some of them you actually have to have a line of sight of enemies to deploy it. You know, you just can't be in a safe zone in the back of the map deploying it. I like that. And, you know, the customization looks amazing. Um, the critic class looks nice, um, feasible to use, and of course, you're gonna be, you know, trying out different weapons with different attachments to see what you like and see how you play. And I'm excited. But I'm just saying that if you're not 100% sure or you're not invested to just play the campaign or the co-op mode, I would go to GameStop right now, put $5 down on the game, um, get the beta code or just even wait for the 12th or the 14th of September to just get the open access. If you want two days early, go pre-order the game to get the early access to the open beta and try it out. Um, personally, I think it's going to look good. I think it looks fun. Um, it definitely fits with my playstyle because I like Battlefield and I like Call of Duty. And this is the first Call of Duty we've had where they're going to mix a little bit of Battlefield into it. And I like that. You know, because, for example, Warface, that is literally what the whole game is. It's just Call of Duty 
fast-paced action, but with battlefield classes and setup, basically. You know, attachments-wise. And now we're getting that in Call of Duty, so I'm pretty stellar, and it's gonna play a lot more smoothly and a lot more clean than Warface, so I may even give up Warface personally once this game comes out. I may not even play it. Because this game looks exactly like Warface pretty much, which is a free-to-play game by the way. And if you want to get like a early access hands-on, go download Warface, it's free. It's pretty much like this, just not paid to win. That's pretty much what it is. Um, but yeah. By the way, this ASMR was sponsored by Cypher Doom, so if you like ASMR, subscribe for more ASMR. Just kidding, don't actually, I don't do ASMR, this is just a joke and a prank. Okay, sorry boys. Anyway, so, that's what I wanted to say. I think it looks good. I'm just kind of disappointed that they used cringy people to do the premiere, but, you know, whatever. I just can't wait for Dr. Disrespect's, you know, outtake, because he's completely honest and, you know, forward about his, you know, how the games feel and play. He was very honest about Black Ops 4's Blackout when it first came out. So I'm really excited for his, you know, uh, review, because... I trust him more out of all of them there because he's the older guy there and he's actually more pretty casual, you know, than you know, all the rest of them there, you know, he just plays the game mostly for fun and is really, you know, above average, but he's definitely still, you know, just kind of there for the fun and, you know, they're not inviting, you know, Eight Thoughts, you know, Big Daddy Eight Thoughts or me or, you know, Neuro Cinema there, you know, which are more casual players and we're just a little bit better than the average player. Um, but you know, honestly, even if they invited me there, I'd be pretty honest about the game. I'd say, well, you know, it's good, but if it had bad things, I'll definitely be vocal about it. I wouldn't just completely talk about the good things and they'll say, yeah, go pre-order the game. And I'll be completely honest, you know, like about Black Ops and about Warface. And Warface is a great game. It just has some things I don't like. You know, it's not as smooth as paid games. It's not as, you know, thing. It's a little bit paid to win in a little bit of aspects. I'm completely honest, but you know. Whatever, I digress, um, but I will say, just a little bit disappointed in the people they invited, but it does look good, it looks fun, I can't wait to play it, I'm gonna be completely honest about that, I can't wait, I can't wait. Um, I will leave a link though to a Big Daddy 8 Thoughts video in the description, and also um, to his channel, you know, at the end of this, you know, the end cards, and also the thing up top, and everything, you know, just to go see if you like his perspective, this is my perspective. Um, I will give you a second opinion. His perspective is a little, a little bit more hardcore than mine. Um, but yeah. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching today's video. Um, I will be, you know, delivering guys early open access beta gameplay because I did get the early access code and everything. Um, so anyway, thank you guys for watching today's video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And you know, guys will all hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification icon to see up, up to date with today's and latest videos. On this channel hit that like button if you did enjoy the video or hell for all i care dislike it if you hated this video i don't care leave a comment down below as well as you know saying how much you hate me or whatever i don't i don't care um just don't hate on other people in the comment section if you're disrespectful to other people in the comment section i will delete your comment because that is rude you can be disrespectful to me but not to other people that is very rude when they're not at the main point of the argument anyway see you guys on the next video peace Ooh.